we anchor, ideally, to devotion to our God and learn, develop, mature accordingly. There will always be much that we do not understand. But our progress is not reliant upon understanding, but devotion. We seek to know our God, not specifically to understand all the details that he allows in our life on the three planes, so to speak, that we conceptualized uh, life to possibly embrace, you know, causal, astral, and physical. By our devotion to God, we have a facility, so to speak, an ability to weather without hardship, what others would see as a hardship. It might be some physical distress or inadequacy, as some they see it. it. Might be an emotional upheaval and contrast and, and change. It might be um, causal instability when realization hits that the meaning to life really hasn't got that much meaning. It's not the hope that one had put in it and that one needs a better one, which is going to be the case if you haven't yet embraced an infinite one, namely devotion to God an infinite being in as far as our conception can um, trust or believe into such. For we don't have the capacity to fully know God. Now this is life eternal, to know thee. So our priority is therefore knowing God. It is our meaning to life. And that learning is tied up in a devotion that has a trust that holds up in, in the blank areas where we don't have the understanding, the knowing. We're given um, a solution which is to trust in spite of our childish incompetence. So you will find circumstances that um, those that are not anchored to God would find traumatic you know, illnesses and uh, things changing, friendships that vanish explicably or inexplicably and even on the causal level ah uh, I don't think my God does have this particular um, detail of character that doesn't seem to be consistent with what I understand to be wonderful God. So you're learning, aren't you? Because you are here in the school 
this life. In the dream of this universe of change and uncertainty, partial knowledge, um, but also trust. Um, time, space, matter, scarcity. Every disease, dis-ease you experience in life, ideally you relate to your meaning in life. And with the meaning that takes loving the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, you are able to sail through what others would find very difficult. You, on the other hand, sail through in calm confidence and peace and joy. Because your whole being is fixed on the eternal meaning. Fellowship with your God. the host of heaven that does likewise. Adults, to which in your ideal all life will aspire to, and to mature to, by the grace of your wonderful God. Thank you, Dad. Well, I was inspired to do this recording because I'm suffering realizing that one friend in particular, Nanda friend, and a fellowship group in particular as well, Saturday Fellowship Group, I've been separated from not quite clear how it's come about, only that it has come about, and I, I know the sequence of events, and neither of them are horrendous except that it results in me not really being there anymore with them. And that would be an unhappiness to me, and, 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 and was um, temporarily as I woke in this, this morning, um, this morning night time, you know, early, I don't know, before one o'clock. And uh, I was um, distressed emotionally, not happy. Um, looking back, not in full trust of God on the situation. How did I get out of the difficulty? Well, one is, of course, I didn't like that situation. I felt unhappy, you know, before one o'clock this morning, laying here in bed. I'm still laying here in bed. It's 2.30 now. But now I'm out of it, out of the difficulty. I'm flying again. Now, I got out by practicing, of course, what I find 
amazingly, it always seems to work. Which is for me to actually go to my recordings, whatever the current one was yesterday's, and I listened to it through. And this now is today's that I'm still producing at this moment. And the practice of having the company of the recording that I made yesterday, listening to it, and addressing the problem that I'm facing, was facing before one o'clock, by the inspiration of the transformation of the company of listening to yesterday's recording. Lifted me out. Now, I'm not quite sure as I'm expressing this competently, but I'm trying to anchor and build on such as a blessing to you, of course. Now, yours might not be by um, doing recordings and, and so forth. Yours might be by writing your journal, your spiritual journal, which in effect is your written fellowship with God. Um, it might be by some other practice. Perhaps you're a great singer, a great worshipper, and you can just find a place where you can worship. Might be in the bath, might be by the river, or out in the fields, a lonely place, or even singing to yourself, walking somewhere. Your city, wherever you are, Hey, I would like to bless you wherever you are. Lord, bless you. Lord, fill you with such a love, such a desire for all his goodness that you know in your heart he loves you. Loves you as you so benefit to be loved, and that your desire is to love him too. Perhaps you need to know that that is your desire, your great need and your great desire. That his fellowship is absolutely everything to you. And all of life's complexity transmutes into, I don't know, lovely dream by his presence in your heart and your presence in his heart. May you be filled with joy, peace and hope that comes from the overwhelming gratitude for all that may be his loving kindness to all that may be him because that is what you've found to be what you truly value this is who you are life eternal a prince in the host of heaven, crown prince, they are all crown princes and princesses, well they know that man or female, they're both or whatever, they are what they are, I am what I am. Thank you, Dad. Love you. Thank you, Dad.
do you see? Oh, a lovely outcome that this um, practice does. I've had it result in a recording that may bless you. I hope so much. And how many others? I don't know. I just hope and trust. that the difficulties of life bring your transcendence into eternal blessing, life eternal. So you need to know the path, your path, your way. Your way of um, transmuting your difficulties into transcendence, <laughs> into life, life eternal, fullness of life, joy, peace, hope, the glory of God, the wonderful company of God and all his family, eternally. You need to know your path. Mm. we're each just a unique example of the way, a unique Jesus, if you like. Um. Mm. And it's this that each of us singularly brings to the family of heaven, the host of heaven. God's family and contributes to it being utterly wonderful eternally. Your family, your home, always, now and forever. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Oh, look, don't miss the point. The practice is finding good company. For me, it can be simply listening to my recordings. For you it might be a journal, it might be much more simply the lovely company of a friend you still have, <laughs> despite the one you've lost, or perhaps another friend. And you go to them and they get the message pretty quickly that, oh, you need lifting. Let's have a cup of tea together, or whatever it is you do have a meal together or chat or you laugh away in the garden, whatever it is with each other. And you're transformed by their goodness. And you see the way ahead again. In fact, you find you're in it again. There are times when you so need good company and you must stop your general ministry and simply go to good company. Although sometimes you can find that it is your ministry that is the good company. And you suddenly find that despite all the difficulties you are beset with, you spent a moment blessing someone else. And my goodness, now you're up and running again. You're full of glory, the loveliness of God. Because you know you've blessed someone and that's really what counts with you. To have been a blessing. In other words, again, the joy of fellowship has lifted you. And well, that fellowship doesn't have to be some perfect person. It doesn't even have to be someone you know. Sometimes it's just through helping someone you didn't know. Or someone you didn't know is more like an angel to you. And God sends to you just at the right moment. And something in them lifts you. By the grace of God. By his loving kindness. The love of your God. Coming to your need. So. When you're down. 
and you will be after all you're still a child you're still an emotional wreck <laughs> let's put this in a better way you're vibrantly unstable <laughs> but you know how to deal with it you seek out good company whatever that is bless you and of course I've done these recordings because I want to give this opportunity of what I understand to be a helpful company, blessing. And I don't suppose it will be for all people, although I don't see why not. <laughs> but it will be for some. And that's what counts. And if it's a blessing to you, oh, I'm just so, so, so pleased.